I talk about high performance and how to get the most out of your, your people. And in tough times, um, our people still are, are, are our most important asset. I try to use the Blue Angels as an example, this high performance team, this high performance organization, break it down into the what are the fundamentals? What are the elements that allowed us to operate in very tough and extreme environments, but bring it back to earth and connect it to a sales force, a uh, company, uh, employees, anybody who needs to connect the vision with the team and get alignment and focus, that's what I'm able to show. The belief is absolutely the, the most critical aspect of an individual or a team. So what I do is I, I show the difference between flying at 100 feet, 10 feet, or 36 inches, which is what the Blue Angels fly at, and what those mental processes are in there. Uh, so I think beliefs are either limiting or liberating. Um, I like to show that uh, how to have a liberating view on things, but being realistic on what we uh, have to have. So there's a lot of uh, safety aspects, risk management aspects in there, uh, but it's mostly a communication, and it's a building of trust. And when you build trust within an organization, either between salespeople, clients, um, or, or just any aspect, uh, then the execution is going to follow. Well, I think what we do is you paint a picture of, uh, of excellence. And uh, the key to excellence is, is the fundamentals that worked when the times were good are, are the same fundamentals. Uh, in fact, more important to have those uh, fundamentals when, when the times are tough. So again, we're, we're, we're painting a picture of excellence, but tying it back to the real world concerns. Uh, it gets back to the basic four steps that I talk about. One is uh, setting your beliefs, which ties into vision and ties into um, a, a corporate vision, but more importantly, how do you get the buy-in to the new realities? Uh, planning, of course, is always important. So instead of talking about planning, I go into the brief and I say, what are those aspects of, of alignment that we can do to be prepared? And, and the little things matter, so we're talking details again. Uh, trust is the execution piece, and probably the most important element in these times and in any time is the, the review reflection. I call it debrief. You know, are we really learning from the situation? Are we taking in uh, the, the, the awareness that we need, uh, making those honest, tough calls, uh, but also supporting each other? And I think today is a time of hope. I think today is really a time of opportunity, uh, especially for uh, the people that we get to talk to. Uh, top producers, I work with them all the time, and they understand that uh, there are, if you're already at the top of your game, you, you need to even work harder to get a little bit better. And uh, that's what we're able to show. Well, I think experience is a great word. Uh, we have six uh, multimedia high-impact uh, videos. We start and end with a, with a high-impact video clip. Then I take you inside the Blue Angels, into the, the briefing processes, the debriefing processes, uh, the elements of, of communication and trust uh, of the team members. Uh, but it's always wrapped around a first-person account, you know, living that, being passionate about what you do, loving what you do, and being able to connect that experience, both when there was difficult air shows to uh, difficult business challenges. Uh, we flew in, in Europe. We did an international tour, Moscow, Bulgaria, Romania, uh, working with all the attributes that have to come together to, have a, to be an ambassador of goodwill, basically. So taking those experiences wrapped around the multimedia, high impact, wow factor, uh, the most important aspect is connecting the dots, though. How is this relevant to, to my audience out there? Um, and that's what I spend a lot of time with, the leadership and the people, and actually interview the audience beforehand to get a good feel for what does performance mean in their world and, and how can we connect the dots with them. Well, I, I love what I do. I really believe this is a, a life calling. I believe I'm here to share experiences, and that means to be with the people other than just being on stage. So I will fly in as early as I possibly can, uh, stay as long as I can, interact with the audience both before and afterwards. Uh, I, I thoroughly enjoy it. I, I enjoy uh, meeting the people. I'll go to the dinners. I'll, I'll shake hands. Um, I want to learn from them as much as I, I think they want to uh, learn from me. And uh, it's a mutual respect. Uh, just, I'll, I'll do whatever it takes to uh, make it a great event. You know, I, I have a saying, glad to be here. And it's very, very powerful and, and meant something very special to me when I was lead solo Blue Angels. It, it actually means more to me now. And it's this idea of being thankful. And I think in, in this environment, uh, we really have a lot to be thankful for. Uh, we also have to uh, challenge ourselves to step up and be optimistic and, 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 and approach the, um, the world from a, a view of, uh, 
of a high belief. And I, um, I'm thankful for this opportunity. Uh, I would love to have an opportunity to speak to uh, uh, any, any person or any corporation that you feel uh, I'd be a good fit for. Uh, I care about what's happening. Uh, I care about the people. And at the end of the day, um, I'm very, very glad to be here.